Hello nerds, welcome to my channel, Ahmed Coaching, and today we are going to talk about taxonomic hierarchy. Okay, uh, here I have a list of some items. Just by looking at these items, can you guess which category they can be belonging to? It's difficult, no? Okay, if I just arrange these items for you, for example, pencil, spoon, mobile, then TV, pen, paper, bowl, radio, knife, computer. I think now you can easily identify which category these items belongs to. These are definitely, oh sorry, knife comes here. Okay, so definitely these three things here, they are stationary items. While spoon, bowl and knife, it belongs to kitchen. While these mobile, radio and computer, these are electronics. So why we have just arranged these items like this? When we were looking at these lines, the items, they are so randomly placed that we cannot understand what item is belonging to which category. But when we arrange these random items into the categories, now we can easily understand. Okay, if somebody say, okay, uh, give me the stationary items, you know that, okay, I have to give that person pen, pencil and papers. And if somebody asks you the kitchen items, you can easily give that person spoon, bowl or knife. So this is what we have done is that arrange these random items into their related categories. A similar method is used in biology to arrange millions of living organisms into their related groups to identify and study them easily. This method is called taxonomic hierarchy. In this method, the organisms, they are classified into groups which is known as taxa or taxon. Taxon word is singular and taxa is plural, plural. So the organisms are arranged or organized into the groups and these taxas they form successive levels which is known as taxonomic hierarchy. For example, I have taxa 1, then I have taxa 1.1 then I have Texa 1.11 Texa 1.111 so you can see that they are making a ladder or successive levels this is what we call taxonomic hierarchy in biology all living things they are divided into five kingdoms So, kingdom is the largest taxon. After the uh, kingdom, the there are several levels which are smaller levels. This is the largest level. After the kingdom, we have smaller levels. In the smaller levels, the organisms, they are arranged the lower um, levels or taxas after the kingdom they are phylum class order family genus and species phylum it contains related classes the classes it contains related orders. Similarly, 
orders contains related families and families contains related genera and gen genus contains related species so you can say that related species make genus related genus they make family related families they make order related orders they make classes related classes they make phylum and related phylums they make kingdom just let's take an example from your daily life for example the phylum is a school it could be any school okay in the school we have different classes we have seven class we have eight class we have nine class we have ten class let's take an example of one class in this class we have order in order uh, what I mean by order that all the students they are arranged maybe according to their roll numbers let's take one roll number for example we have roll number one roll number two roll number three let's take roll number one that roll number one is actually a family if that person could have any name it may have name like Khan or may have name like uh, Ahmed so this is the family if we go into the detail of that student's name we can find out that okay he may have brothers he may have sisters okay let's take just brother and say that brother is a species then in the brother we have maybe we have Sam we have David okay or maybe we have like Ali so these are the species so in this way if we go back we can say that okay these Sam David and Ali they are brothers these brothers they belong to Han family and then these Han family when they are going to the school or making the students or making themselves the students they are assigned a role number one and when this role number one is assigned to class they are in the class ninth and this class nine is in one school this is an example from a daily life but if we want to take an example from biological perspective let's take the example of human let's check out the uh, taxonomic hierarchy of human being the kingdom to which humans belong is known as animalia then the next level is phylum phylum is chordata the next level is class mammalia order primates family hominidia genus homo and the species is homo sapiens you can see that it is actually making a ladder okay these are actually the successive levels through which we can organize or we can categorize one particular species so if somebody asks you what is the uh, scientific name of human beings that name is homo sapiens okay let's get back to that lower levels of our uh, taxonomic hierarchy we come to this particular level which is known as species what are the characteristics or definition of species species they interbreed naturally okay they interbreed naturally and they produce fertile offsprings fertile offsprings mean that um, uh, the organism the offspring they are going to make or they are going to produce can further produce more offsprings and they are reproductively isolated it means that they cannot uh, uh, make uh, they are going to um, reproduce uh, to some other species they are just going to be isolated in one particular species the characteristics of species that they are structurally behaviorally and economically distinct okay so this is also known as natural breeding 
we have also heard about artificial breeding this is natural breeding and in the artificial breeding two different species they can interbreed but what important thing is that in a uh, species when natural breeding is concerned we are talking about naturally but in artificial breeding this process is not natural this is human made that human wants to make a new breed so they are going to just cross breed to different types of species to make one new breed so this was all about the taxonomic hierarchy i hope that you understand this concept if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section and if you need more material or worksheets related to this topic you can visit the link below in the description box and um, please give a big thumbs up to my video if you like it and also subscribe to my channel thank you very much